So hey guys, today I will speak about carbon monoxide detector. You can find these on the internet and uh, this can be similar for all of these models like just red, green light, uh, test button and cancel button. They also LED display showing the PPM for the carbon monoxide level. And behind as you see, three AA batteries, 1.5 volts. And as well you get this mounting staff, you can actually like mount this on the wall. As well you get instruction here. So in the manual you can find also features like uh, how low this should be, also what sort of uh, batteries it needs and uh, etc. And then what it is and also here some more information if you care. And this is the specification what uh, I most care about and uh, as you see it says sensitivity at time and alarm within 60 to 90 minutes if PPM is 50 and 100 if um, within 10 to 40 minutes and etc. And this is really important stuff for me because uh, it should not be alarmed if the PPM is lower than 100 and then it's just start to beep right away not within these 10 to 40 minutes and I really don't like it. And then of course the 300 PPM and more like 3 minutes that's alright I agree with this one and here just some installation guide and then recommendations how to do it. And then for me it was like more or less I haven't installed it yet. And where not to install and etc. Mounting instructions. Well, this is like that. And here is the test alarm. How to do it. And then and what will happen when you press the test button. And there's the test features and reset features. So this reset feature is important because uh, if you have already some uh, CO detection happened in the past, if you will press just once test button it will show the level, but if you press it twice it will delete the error. And this is the memory function for this one, I think, like same, LED indicator, well, for me, I would love to see if this would come with a LED indicator that uh, is all time on and I can see the what is carbon monoxide level in the room all the time, not just like when something happens. And then there is also some uh, battery replacement. Maintenance and then and reinstallation. And so on the internet you also can find uh, some sort of explanation this time from Kiddy or something like that and as you see 50 ppm is not dangerous at all for the adults and also from 200 ppm that says it's uh, within hours won't happen nothing much and then and if you get more than 400 and around that then it's starting to get uh, more and more dangerous and here is also just compare the monoxide levels and how and when it will set the alarm and here is for 10 hours, 40 p.m., 50 p.m., 8 hours, and on here it says like around 1 to 3 hours, and already start alarming. And from 50 to 150, something like that. So first you have to install the batteries, I already bought mine. So let's test out if it's really 85 decibels low. So let's see how low this is just by pressing this test button. and. So guys, as you see, this is rather low. Actually, I already have like some sort of problems with my hearing, but the peaks in one meter away or here or there, it's around 80. So it's around 80 decibels, not 85. But probably they have some mistakes in this app. So maybe it has 85, but this actually showed 80 maximum, out 75, 80, something like that. So the next thing is you already noticed that uh, if you press this button once, it will just uh, make a test and then and it will actually beep twice and this is really loud and the red light will just blink and uh, this is the LED display that's actually like blue lit and then uh, really easy to see what's written here just there are just numbers and ppm as you've seen that before and then overall there are some things that is rather weird for this here is actually some sort of on twist and off possibility on this cover but you cannot actually twist or do whatever you want with this. Also this is not really white, this is like cream white or something like that. If you order this one from the internet, it will 
probably as you see it is rather different this is really white and this is like a creamy white blinking lights are good and then if it's everything alright this will just blink time to time like once per 30 seconds the green light will just blink and that's rather good one and here's also written do not paint this one so warning here too so let's test this out here's the candle and then, then what I will do I have the glass bowl I'll just put it over here and uh, what it should do it should actually reduce the level of the oxygen here inside the, in this uh, bowl because this is not completely sealed so there will be some change within time but the <laughs> but as you see the little fire here actually burns a lot more oxygen than it leaks and exchanges so this should start within some time but it will probably not be immediately it will take a little bit of time so let's wait till it starts Well, I'm rotating this just because I don't want that something happens to the bowl and I'm not sure if it's really good for the fire so it doesn't heat just one spot there little candle fire starting to burn out so it means that there are less and less oxygen in there and then and probably very soon we will see how this operates oh. so as you see this device just detected that the CO level is uh, really low and it starts to beep right away it's not 400 it's not uh, 200 and it starts to beep just within uh, I would say 2-1 minute and not like within uh, as it said hours and etc so guys, I'm sorry that the, the, the ball is rather foggy right now, but as you see it kind of works, it's 200 ppm, let's reduce this one to lower levels, so we'll see if we'll stop doing something, and we'll change, because the thing what I want is that uh, if it's like around 100 or below like 80-70 uh, ppm, it just stops to beep and show me the level, but the problem is it's just, it doesn't stop, it just keeps beeping all the time, and then... And, indicating that uh, the level is high As you see it's getting lower and lower level it's already 90 pm but still beeps 60 pm and still beeps 50 pm still beeps so the problem is that <laughs> I don't want that it beeps at that level and it's kind of will just stop beeping when it will be below this some sort of I don't know what level but as you see it's not like should still be if the level is 40 it should just stop right there so this is disappointing rather at least luckily it ended right now so after the alarm has been set if you press this one you will see the maximum average or some sort of level I don't know how it measures this one but this is uh, the alarm level what set this up but if you will press it twice then as you see you just deleted the error yeah, I once installed it at home in the beginning when I bought this one and I thought well this will be rather good stuff because it will indicate the level of the CO by these particles per millions and something like that uh, all the time on this LCD display not LCD but this LED display but uh, this device will not show you the current level all the time only if it will be over the some sort of this limit what's uh, inside in this uh, the wise memory, I don't know how they measure when they start to beeping or not. They kind of write wrote this down there in this instruction about these times when it starts to operate. But for me, it's what, as you notice here, it starts to operate right now, not within those minutes. Probably because this is only on for just about um, two hours, and uh, maybe that's why it ha it hasn't still measured the average this uh, air quality level and etc well I really don't like this one uh, it should start to work a little bit better right away or at least they have to put this in instruction that you have to turn this on for at least one day till it uh, will be able to operate in normal levels 
So let's dig in and look inside what's there and I actually want to remove this uh, speaker so it doesn't beep all the time especially when the ppm level is low and it's not dangerous and I don't be, want to bother by this one especially if you have fireplace or something like that and it will kind of change the atmosphere around you not just by the level of the warmness and something like that but also the CO levels will raise and uh, probably not always dangerous especially if you are up and something like that so this is not rather good for that I have bad experience with this one and it started to beep right away even if everything was really operational and fine and yeah that's why I just want to right now remove the speaker and look what's inside else there so let's open this one so this is held in place by uh, little clips here and there so what you need to do just uh, Oh, you can also use brute force and open this like something like that, but be gentle. And this is the speaker, as you see. Just remove this little clip here. Okay, this is away. And this is how it looks from the inside. So, this I think is the sensor for CO. And then these are batteries, that goes inside electricity, some sort of capacitor. These are the LED lights, one is a green, one red. Let's test the button, yep. As you see, it's red blinking right now. Everything is operational. And here you can see also the speaker itself, the LED display. And if you press the button, just indicate everything around there. So. The speaker actually gives the alarm through this hole and this is probably just for the measuring hole as you notice this one and this is just so more or less rather simple everything seems uh, this is for the commands probably and then also this one this chip small one that's about it about inside let's uh, put back everything together because all I want is just remove this little wire okay that's closed let's test this out all right it works shows level little summary well the device is not too bad overall it works as you noticed it is loud and it will alert you if something will happen and it is really sensitive and will start to work right away when even the CO level is really low and that's what I don't like it and I really expected that this LCD display be all time on and I will can see the current air quality level if you're speaking about CO level and then indicate by myself for example if I need to open the windows and let the fresh air in or something like that and if I want I have always to push this button and see if it's zero or it's not zero and that's what I don't like and when you press this button then it's really loud and it will wake up you and your neighbors and whatever else if you have some doubts so so probably this device will wake you time time up in the middle of the night especially if you have fireplace and even if you have closed everything correctly and everything has burned out correctly this might actually wake you up so set by yourself if you need this one or you want to go for something else but overall solid build plastic piece and uh, easy to use. The price is also not too expensive and thanks for watching I hope I could help you at least to give a little insight what you get when you buy this one if you are me like me and try, I wanted to buy this because you hope that this will indicate the current level of CO at your home all the time on this LED display well how to disappoint you it does not do it it only starts to work when something is wrong and that's about it.